Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to The Expanse Season 1, Episode 8. I am getting very close to the finale and I can't wait. I can see this is all building up and I'm really excited to see where it's going to build up to because this show is amazing. I'm very happy to be part of the Screaming Firehawks and I'm really excited to get into this so I'm not going to talk too much. So before we get into this, remember if you like this reaction to leave a thumbs up down below and press that subscribe button. And also down in the description on my usernames for Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. Go check those out. Say hi to me if you want to. If you don't want to, you don't have to. That's completely up to you though. But yeah, I'm excited to get into this, you guys. Uh, you know I love this show. I'm only, what, this is, yeah, eight, eight, eight episodes in, you guys. Eight episodes. I feel like I just started this last week. It's a lot to deal with, I feel like. As you guys warned me with season one, it's a lot to take in. A lot of things are happening. There's no helping you or giving you a little hints and little notes and repeating names or anything like that. There's, they don't help you. It's a lot of just jump into the deep end and sink or swim, and I think I'm doing pretty well. I, th I think I'm doing pretty well, you guys. So I'm excited to see where this season ends and what's going to happen, and I honestly just, I don't know what's going to go on. I have so many hints and theories and stuff that I've mentioned before, a lot of theories, but I don't know. I have a feeling everything I think is wrong. Oh yeah, I, I'm probably really wrong with all of this. <laughs> that my gut is I'm wrong with 98% of the things I've guessed here. But at least I know that. So I'm expecting different. So that may or may not be good. I don't know. Uh, I'm just ready to get into this, you guys. I'm going to react to this tonight and maybe one of the two more things. I am going to save the finale, the episode 9 and 10. I was told that episode 9 kind of ends right on a cliffhanger and that you can't I'm going to want to watch episode 10 right after, so I'm going to save those for a night I have time that I can watch both. And to let you guys know now that I'm going to, actually, you may already have found this out in another video I uploaded already, but I'm going to upload episode 9 and 10 together on the same day, so that's going to be a lot. And I'm guessing since they're both going to be really good episodes, it's going to be like a three-part of each, so you'll be getting like six, maximum of six videos on a Monday. <laughs> gonna be nuts. Yeah, it'll be next Monday. After the one this Monday that you were seeing this video, it will be next Monday that you'll be seeing possibly four to six videos. Yeah, it's gonna be crazy. A lot of editing here, but I'm doing it for you guys because I love you guys. You guys are the best fandom I've worked with so far. You guys are amazing. I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that, but I'm gonna say it a lot. Just to let you know. I'm gonna be saying that a lot. <laughs> okay. Let's just get into this, you guys. I'm really excited. This is only a 40-minute episode. Not too bad. Actually, most of them are 40 minutes. I think there was one that was slightly longer. I don't know. I've been reacting to a lot, so I could be thinking about a whole different show. Yeah, uh, yeah whatever. Alright, here we go. Previously on The Expanse. Oh, the showing of series. Ooh, does that mean we're going to see Julie again finally? So this is like a literal rock that they're just laying down in space. What's on this rock? The only thing we got here is just a rock. Alex, take her around. Let's have a look, see. You got it, Chief. I've honestly completely forgotten what they're looking for on this rock. It's a thing for Fred Johnson, right? That weirdly looks a little man-made thing. Alex, hold up. Right there. Inside that cravat. What is that? What, what the? Is that a ship? It's some sweet parking job. Damn. Really hey, it is a good parking job. It's a stealth ship. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's one of the same ones. I knew it looked familiar. Kind of oh, shit. Blasted. Easy there, partner. These things tend to shoot back. Mm. 
what the hell is that? Oh, is that the Mormon ship? But wh why do they have a statue like that on it? Or is it that the, the LDSS Navy? Oh, the Navy, that's the Navy. Okay, it's the, the Navy, it's the Mormon ship. Okay. I don't know why they need that fake statue. Is it part of the ship or just decorative? Oh, and Tanko Station's attached to it, don't be right. As far as you got, a lot of Martian soldiers gave their lives for this information. I need to know why. Is that the stuff that the head woman on that one Mars ship gave to him right before they, he got off that ship? And practically zero across all main bands. Nice stealth tech. We already figured that out. Who has ships like that? Mars, of course. This is not a design I've seen before. Yeah, it could. It can't be Mars because they're the ones who attacked Mars. No one else built stealth. No one else can afford to. Who all these people are? So curious. Airlock's open, but the hull seems to be intact. There could still be air inside. Alright then. We're going in. Remember what happened the last mm -hmm. time we went into one of these? Yeah, that's yeah, true. Well, this time we got guns of our own. That's also true. We finally got some weapons. Super. Maybe this time it will turn out looks. differently. Then they have such bad luck. I don't know. I know bodyguard. <laughs> oh, almost way too happy about this. He so much as breaks his toenail. You're hitchhiking home from this rock. Sure thing, Skipper. <laughs> Almost has gotten really sassy these past couple episodes, and I'm really loving it. Good. This is bullshit. You can't just treat me like some kind of canary in a coal mine. Yeah, kind of can. You are fine on them. Wait, this looks just like the ship that Julie Chen was on. Or Julie Mao. Julie. What was the last name? Julie Mao. Right? I don't know. It is the same ship. The Looks same like blood. Ooh. Kind of ship. I thought she was on the other ship. The one from episode one that was destroyed. That they were on before. Oh. It was this ship the whole time. Oh, fuck. Julie really broke her way out of it. That yeah, that's the ship. Oh my god, they let us believe this whole season the ship she was on was the Scopuli. But it was really this one. Damn. Damn. Oh, please say she's alive. That can't be her now. She has to be alive. I need Julie to be alive. Scopuli, yeah. So they were taken off. She wasn't Scopuli. They were taken off prisoner this onto this ship. Who, God knows who these people are with this stealth technology. This is the ship. The one that killed the camp. It has to be. Yeah, they took the people off to Scopuli, waited there. And then attacked when the Canterbury came and destroyed them. 